either go all the way with the the detective character um instead of a dana andrews you know mark mcpherson that mark mcpherson character maybe go with like a, a cary grant <laughs> you know <laughs> <laughs> go with uh go with like a, a genuine like handsome leading man where it's like it's plausible that she would just be in love with him on first sight or go with a little bit more of a hard-boiled grizzled guy like a humphrey bogart i thought the the actors were really good but i thought the supporting actors were a lot better than the leads the leads were good but the supporting actors were great and i just wondered like with maybe stronger leads how much different this movie would be even though it's a it's a classic and and well-deserved classic do you think i'm being too hard on the leads or do you think they were they were um they could have been better i don't know if you're being too hard on them but i i think it's true that both of them, both of their characters do come off as a, li a little bit um, mysterious or, or, you know, we don't get a lot from them. Like Dana Andrews, you know, you're right, Humphrey Bogart would bring something to it that would give us a lot more character. We would just get a lot more sense of him as a character. But Dana Andrews is kind of hard to read. You know, he's just, he's a cop, he's doing his job, and he kind of becomes obsessed with her. Mm -hmm. but but i don't know anything about him other than that yeah you know, I, I don't feel i really know him the same way i don't really feel i know laura or, or jean tyranny's laura they're they're both kind of blank canvases in a way um so yeah i don't know maybe different actors would have brought something to it that would make it even more interesting but on the other hand maybe this is part of it is that you know we we you know we want to be left with this kind of sense of mystery who is this laura who is this portrait hanging on the wall and maybe we're just supposed to never know the answer i don't know it's interesting i just think this is a great movie right get, don't get me wrong i love yes. this movie i yeah. really enjoyed it but when i look at this movie i say what's the difference between this and the maltese falcon What's the difference between this and to have and have not? I think the direction, the cinematography, the music, the supporting actors, just as good. The difference is the lead actors. You know, I think that this is a great movie, but the only thing separating this from like an all time great movie is, is the leads. They were, the leads are, this is like a B movie. I think this was put together as like maybe a B movie maybe it's a, maybe it was an a but i think it it had the makings of just an all-time classic one of the top film noirs ever made it was just like the leads they they were good and they were probably good for what the intention of the movie was but it was just like wait a minute Otto primingers this might be his best movie ever and he's already a great director vincent price this guy's pretty good he may be a star <laughs> You know, it's like, wait a minute, Clifton Webb, well, this guy's really good. He got an Oscar nomination. Judith Anderson, she's, we already know she's good. It's like, wait a minute, we got something here, you know? It's like, <laughs> and it's like, oh man, we're stuck with these leads. You know, it's kind of, <laughs> you know. again, I, I'm but, not knocking the leads. I thought they were good, but I just think everything else yeah. was great. Yeah, well, I, I don't think I've ever thought to myself, I want to watch a Dana Andrews movie. Like, I don't even know what that would be. Like, I can't picture Dana Andrews as a, a category of movie, you know. Humphrey Bogart, yes. James Cagney, yes. You kind of know what you're going to see. But Dana Andrews, I've never thought I'm in the mood for a Dana Andrews movie. Yeah. And, and really, same thing with Jean Tierney. I don't think I've ever thought that about her.